If you've ever forgotten about a checking account or forgot to deposit a check or didn't receive a refund for a security deposit that you put down a couple years ago on an apartment, most likely that property, in terms of its value, turned into what's called unclaimed property. So unclaimed property under what's called the achievement laws is essentially dormant property after three to five years, depending on the state, that then legally gets transferred from the company that owes you money um, to the state government in form of the treasury or uh, the comptroller. Um, the laws, which are called the achievement laws that govern the unclaimed property programs, they essentially state that the state has to collect that unclaimed property from companies in order to uh, protect consumers from those companies keeping the money um, or keeping the value, but they also have to make it available for you to go and claim um, if you remember it and go to the state's website and search for it and find your property. Um, what this project is aiming to do is do a little bit of a data deep dive to understand what are the dynamics at play, um, specifically in California, a little bit of uh, national data, but specifically in California, what kind of unclaimed property are we talking about? What companies and where are those companies that actually owe people money or owed people money before they were transferred to uh, the California Treasury? Um, and ideally serve as a jumping off point to um, do a deeper dive into unclaimed property data.